Hello everyone, welcome to the Spiritual Centre. I'm Sonia Parker. Now in this video I'm going to be doing a pick a card life path reading and asking the question, why are you here? This reading is going to look at your life purpose and give you some guidance on your life path and your life journey. It is a timeless reading. You were drawn to this reading because of the time, the place and the circumstance. Use your own intuition as you focus on the cards and feel which deck you're drawn to. These cards will reveal your life path and why you are here. Set this intention as you feel drawn to the cards. And remember that you are the master of your own destiny. You have free will and this reading is for guidance only. But if the reading does resonate with you, then please let me know in the comments. Please subscribe to my channel. And if it doesn't resonate, then it wasn't meant for you. Maybe take a look at my other pick a card of readings in the description, or maybe look at another channel. Okay, so we have three groups of cards. We have group one, which has the Buddha, Buddha energy. We have group two, which has a piece of rose quartz. And we have group three, which has a beautiful angel. And the cards that we're using for this reading is Angels of Atlantis Oracle Deck. And also Healing with the Angels Oracle Cards. So they're the two decks that we're using. I have also got my tarot cards if I feel drawn to pull some for clarification or for any other reason. So if you just focus now on these three groups of cards and remember, set that intention, clear your mind of other thoughts and set that intention. Why are you here? Take a deep breath. Take a few moments to connect to the number that you feel drawn to, either group one, group two, or group three. And I'll leave you for just a second. Okay, so we've got group three and two out of the way. I will keep the Buddha energy. Okay, so thank you for choosing group one. We have Raphael, empathy. And we have trust, support, and manifestation. Okay, so your life purpose and reason for being here is that of the empath, the healer. You are here to help others. You are here to heal. You will be naturally drawn to the greens, to the blues, <clears throat> to nature, to water, to the sea, and to everything that the planet Earth has to offer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Being an empath means you're able to feel others' emotions. You know how they feel. You can pick up <coughs> on if they're suffering from any illnesses. You are a highly sensitive individual. It's easy for you to pick up on another's energy. Because of that, it's a really good idea to ground yourself, do a daily ritual, take control of your own energy and your own aura. And a great way to do that, and there is a video in my description, is to bring your, stand with your feet on the ground, bring your palms together. And just set that intention and say to yourself, 
my energy is my own. Now if we look at life path and life purpose, empaths make great counsellors or life coaches, um, anything that will bring upliftment to others, teaching in any form, and anything within the caring profession as well. Okay, so let's look at the other cards that we have for your life plan and why you're here. And the first one that we have is trust. It's a beautiful angel. A beautiful sunset. It's a lovely card. So what does trust mean? Well, you need to trust in yourself and you need to trust your abilities. You can easily block energy and opportunities that come your way due to your own insecurities. And I do feel that a lot of you who are listening to this reading would have been hurt in the past and hurt quite badly. And this is what will have led you to have trust issues. And the message that's coming with this life plan, this life purpose for you today is to self-trust and to start to believe in yourself and the abilities that you have to heal others. And I always think that to heal others, you have to ex experience something yourself first. And it's, you've had these experiences. It's what's made you who you are. Okay, the second card that we have is support. I absolutely love this card. You've got the world and you've got the whole of the spirit team standing around watching and guiding. So know that you're being guided and protected on your life pathway. <clears throat> and not acknowledge the reason why you're here. You have a whole team of spirit guides that surround you, that guide you, that love you and support you. So talk to them, ask them for help. The more you talk, the more guidance that will come through. And you will know it's them that's giving you those signs. It is your life purpose to help others. And the angels will support you in this endeavour. Okay. And the last of the cards, the third one. Again, the beautiful angel wings and its manifestation. From now on, after listening to this reading, new opportunities will come with abundance. You will have that new acknowledgement of being an empath and all that that entails and things will make sense to you. You will be rewarded for all that you do and all that you have and all that you are. And from now on, you're gonna have a new sense of peace and understanding. You will have the ability to manifest. You will know that you can do anything. And there's three key ingredients to that. And it's one of my favorite sayings. Think it, believe it, receive it. Think about the ways that those things can come about through feelings, through dreams, and through visions. Your desires can be created. You are an empath. Okay, I am gonna pull a tarot card just to see your way forward. Now you have this knowledge of your life path and why you are here. So we want a card just to give guidance for the immediate future with this new knowledge. And we have the death card. How awesome. The death card is probably one of my favorites in the tarot back pack because it's transformation. And 
it is about leaving the past behind you, but knowing that there's a bigger purpose, there's something bigger out there for you to do. And it's about you acknowledging what it is that something you may have started a long time ago that you need to finish. It's almost as though it's an ending of a cycle. So when you listen to this reading and you've chosen group one for your life path, it's almost that there's an ending of a cycle right here, right now, and the beginning of a new one going forward. Just remember the words that have come up in the reading. Trust, self-trust, support from your spirit guides and spirit team. And know that there isn't anything that you cannot manifest. Bless you for watching. I hope you enjoyed your reading, your life path, why you are here, group one. <clears throat> Okay, so let's have group two. <coughs> Hello, thank you for choosing group two. Your life purpose and why you are here. Let's have a look at the cards that we have. Okay, we have Archangel Sandalphon and we have love and we have the beautiful golden rays from Christ consciousness We've also got the rose quartz for love the cards that we have are body care Harmony Again covered in the gold. There's a golden halo there and divine timing Okay, so let's have a look at group two. Okay, so the first card that we have for your life purpose and reason for being here is love. So your reason is being the lover, to love and be loved. And it's almost as though you strive to find peace and harmony in all situations you are an earth angel and you've come here to spread the word of love and you see everyone and everything through compassionate eyes you are very creative look at the yellows and the oranges it's very um creative and very intelligent as well And the creative side can be writing, poetry, painting, art, photography. But your true purpose, your true life path will be when you give yourself to doing something creative. You'll also find that people are attracted to you, almost a magnetic attraction. They want to share their stories with you. They open up their whole world to you their worries, their hurts. You are a people magnet. The downside of being the lover as a life path is that you tend to need reassurance if you're in a relationship. You look for validation in situations and Someone will need to prove their love for you. They'll need to prove themselves. Okay, the next three cards are guidance. Now knowing that this is your life path. And the first card is body care. So, body care. Again, we've got the yellows and golds. There's a lot of yellows and golds in this. And I feel that uh, for some of you, you need to take more care of your physical body, to eat healthier foods, um, to exercise more regularly, and avoid, avoid any toxins into the body, even sugar. 
this is your vehicle for this physical existence and if you eat healthily and exercise you will reap the benefits and you'll feel terrific you will have increased energy you will have increased happiness this is about purifying and maintaining your own beautiful body okay the second card we have is harmony now you've been drawn to this reading today for a reason this life path why are you here and as of this reading you will feel a new sense of peace and a new sense of harmony you will acknowledge that you are an earth angel and your vibration will raise and it's almost as though all conflicts will just drop away um, I, th I feel a clean perspective and clean is a strange word really for a reading but I feel as though it's almost a cleansing a cleansing of the human body but a cleansing of the environment around you as well things will see, seem different for you from now on and they will feel different and this is because you have acknowledged that love is all there is okay and the last card that we have for your life path is divine timing. One of my favourite sayings is time, place and circumstance. Doors will open when the time is right and the doors will open for you now. But this is about walking through those new doors that open, embracing what's on the other side of that door, even if you don't know what it is. But what you must do is shut the door as you walk through. Don't go back to what was behind you. Onwards and upwards are the words for you going forward. And it's almost as though you won't need to force any doors open or shut. It will be automatic. And if you come across any doors that are still closed, then the time isn't right. You don't need to walk through there right now. So if there is some sort of blockage or something you wanted moved on quickly and it hasn't happened, know that the timing isn't right just now. Just look for another door. Especially with regards to relationships, look for another solution. Look for another way out. And remember the words at the beginning of the Life Path reading. Your reason for being here. You are here to love and to be loved. How beautiful. Okay, I'm going to pull one tarot card for immediate guidance for group two as the lover. What guidance can the tarot give? And we have the King of Cups. This is a gentleman that has mastered love. Very emotional man. If we look at the seas, the seas are very rocky around him. So he's, come, he's overcome all obstacles. You've also got the salmon here who will swim upstream and go back to the homing ground. So this could well be the gentleman that is around you or this could be the strength that you're taking on going forward quite ironic that we pull a love card for your reading well there we go group two i hope you enjoyed your reading you are here to love and to be loved so enjoy bless you for watching
Welcome group three, thank you for choosing this group. Okay, so you have the angel and the cards that you have are Archangel Michael, enchantment with the magical unicorn. You have signs. Again, Archangel Michael. Two, the same, mad. <laughs> there you go, that's cards for you. And the third card is Guardian Angel as well. Very <laughs> angelic reading. Okay, so what is your life purpose? Why are you here? Well, your life, life pathway is to be the alchemist. And the card is enchantment. This is to experience the magic of life and all that life has to offer. And acknowledge that divine light that is within you, the core of who you are, your spirit. We are all spirit in a physical body. So it's, this is about that core spirit within you. And this is about allowing your physical reality of your being to step to one side. So don't worry about the physical side of life, feelings about yourself that are not good. For example, how you look, what size you are. And asking yourself questions like, if only I was this size or that. So it's being about con being content with your physical body. This is the physical body you have been given with all its pimples and flaws. So your sole purpose, your life path, is to free yourself from your core beliefs about your own self. It's a journey to self-realization, to trust in the invisible world of spirit, the enchanted magical world that will lead you to your true destiny. What a beautiful group to have chosen. Okay, so the first card that we have is signs. So from this day, right now, from watching this reading, pay attention to the signs that the angels are showing you. Spirits show themselves in so many ways, especially when they're trying to get your attention. Look for the red robin. Know that there is someone that has passed the spirit when you see the red robin. Know that there's a message of love coming to you when you see him. The white feather. Repeated numbers. How many times are you seeing those numbers? Look up the meaning of those numbers. There'll be a message in there for you. But even the words in a song, or if that song meant something to someone close. You are being guided by the angels. They are showing you the signs and they will show you more signs as you go forward. So especially over the next few days. And if you do have the signs, then please comment and let me know. Okay, so the next card is Archangel Michael. So he's here in two cards. So why is he making his presence known to you right now in this life path? Why are you here reading? Well, he is a symbol of true courage. So he'll guide you through any tough choices that you need to make or any situations that you might be going for, through right now. Know that the angels are surrounding you, but talk to them, share your worries, share your troubles. He will help. Trust in the magic of spirit, trust in the magic of the angels, and that magic will manifest into your material world.
Okay, so the last card for you in your life path reading is Guardian Angel again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> they are all angel cards that have exactly the same clear message. You will be receiving messages from your guardian angel. You are worthy. You deserve their help. You deserve their attention. And if you have made any mistakes lately, don't worry. The angels do not judge us. The angels are simply here to help and support you on your life path so that you can grow spiritually. Not just for your own journey, but to guide others as well. Beautiful cards, group three. I hope they resonated with you. I'm going to pull one tarot card for group three. Looking for immediate guidance. Now they have the knowledge that they are the alchemist. And we have the hermit, the perfect alchemist. The hermit shines his light. He's been there, he's done that. He's bought the t-shirt. And sometimes he might feel lonely as well because he might feel that he doesn't fit in. Especially when we acquire a bit of knowledge spiritually, suddenly the people around us are not aware like we're aware and they don't understand the same. And it's almost as though that time of solitude, that time of feeling alone is a time for reflection a time for self-awareness, a time to find your true journey. But it's also about being that beacon of light for others. So you can expect people to be drawn to you over the coming days as well. You will be a people magnet. Just remember, your life path is the alchemist. A journey to self-realisation. So trust it. Trust in the invisible world of spirit. They will never let you down. Pure, unconditional love. Bless you, group three. I hope that this reading resonates with you. If it does, please let me know in the comments. As I said at the beginning of the reading, if my reading didn't resonate with you, then maybe look at one of the others that are in the description or maybe look at another channel. If it does resonate with you, if you do feel that that is your life purpose, this is your life path, this is your reason for being here, then please comment, please let me know. If you'd like me to do other pick a card readings, please let me know in the comments. It's lovely to interact with you. I'll see you all soon in the next video. Bless you for watching.